Good day everyone and welcome to the program Agriculture on the Move. My name is Philip Sidney, your host. My guest today is a very important one, one you're familiar with and you hear a lot from him today and he's none other than the Honorable Alfred Paul Prosper who is the Minister with, with Responsibility for Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development. Welcome to the program Honorable Minister. Thank you very much. And, it's and, a pleasure to be yeah, here. Yeah, well, and thank you for taking time off. I know you're very, very busy. But of course, you have to tell St. Lucia what you're doing in your, exactly. in, in your ministry. <laughs> very true. And the farmers, you know, always, the fishers, the yeah, farmers, yeah, the process, everybody in the sector, mm -hmm. I'm sure they want to hear. They would like to hear what's happening. Definitely. And sector. of course, we're starting on the ball. Uh, yes. One year. One year. Into your helm, the yes. helm of the ministry. A challenging one year. Challenging one year. <laughs> in, amidst the challenges, mm -hmm. um, Honorable Minister, what were your main achievements? Yes, and I must say it's good to celebrate this first year. Mm -hmm. I mean, as a new minister, there were lots of challenges, but there were also some very, very good achievements. Mm -hmm. And one of them that I must mention first is the state that we got the banana industry when we came in. It was an industry that was almost lost. Our farmers had lost confidence in the UK market. Our farmers did not have the support to be able to um, allow them to buy the resources for the farms, mm -hmm. the high cost of fertilizer, the high cost of other inputs. We had a problem with the NFTU, you know, not being able to have the financial resources to, you know, continue from where we fresh left off. Mm -hmm. So these were challenging times. Mm -hmm. And today I must say a lot of progress have been made. Mm -hmm. NFTU was, you know, we were able to assist NFTU with getting the $3.8 million to assist them with their operations. We had a banana task force established to look into the whole industry, where it is, where we want to go, what are some of the challenges. Mm -hmm. That task was completed by a banana task force. We had a special consultancy done to really review the operations of NFTO. And then we moved further to re-engage the farmers to ensure that they produce the quality fruits mm -hmm. that the UK market would get. And so far, we've started, this week coming is the 10th week, we've resumed exports of bananas. This is not something I will sit here and boast because this is not where I would like to see the industry at this, at this but time. But it's a start. But it's a start, it's, mm -hmm. a prog it's you know, some progress, mm -hmm. but I really want to continue encouraging our farmers to produce the quality fruits that the UK requires and as well as the region. Mm -hmm. Currently, we are exporting about 6,500 boxes of bananas to the region. And I'm hoping that before the end of this financial year, we can increase that to 10. We were happy to en engage Sainsbury, you know, and Sainsbury has indicated to us they are more than willing to resume export, um, to um, sign a contract with us, mm -hmm. but we we'll want to see that a lot more, you know, ha um, you know, will happen, especially with the maintenance, the consistency with the quality, mm -hmm. the consistency in volume. But at the end of the day, our farmers mm -hmm. too mm -hmm. are under pressure. Mm -hmm. They are suffering because of the high cost of inputs. Mm -hmm. And every meeting I attend, I know the call is, what can government do? And I want to uh, say to them, I really wish our government could do a little more. Mm -hmm. But we have had the COVID to deal with, and we now challenged by what's happening in Ukraine and Russia. And we know the high cost of gas, fuel, to be exact. And the government is subsidizing a lot in terms of the fuel, the rice, the sugar, and so on. And it is a little unfortunate that the farmers are the ones suffering now. Mm -hmm. But I'm certainly sure in the next few months, in the next, in the short term, I'm certainly sure government will try its best to, you know, ease, ease the pressure on the farmers. Mm -hmm. I want to commend, um, I want to say thank you to the government of Morocco on behalf of the government of St. Lucia for making available to us 
3,944 bags of fertilizer, and all of that will be given to the farmers free of charge. I'm hoping that that will be a relief for the farmers. Unless it's and vegetable farmers. Way. Yes, well, mainly the vegetable farmers. Mm -hmm. And I feel sorry that, you know, the banana farmers cannot benefit from it because of the type of, of the various the ratio. ratio. The mm -hmm. ratio mm -hmm. is more appropriate for the vegetable farmers. Mm -hmm. In the fishery sector, we've made some progress. We, you know, um, there was a passage of the Agricultural and Fisheries Incentives Bill. Yes. And it makes provision to for people, persons who are in the CMOS industry, the fishers now can buy more of the products that they were unable to buy before. Mm -hmm. The lines, the hooks, and all of those things have, have been made available in there. So that's a major um, achievement, achievement for the fishery sector. We understand what the fishers are going through now because of the high cost of gas, and our mini my ministry has been trying its best to get what we call the fisheries as leading device, what we call the FADs. Fads yes. And we are really going to see how many we can get to spread around the island so it can reduce the pressure of the fishers having to buy gas to go too far out, sea, mm -hmm. too far out. Mm -hmm. and so they can go around the fads and they can you know be able to still earn a livelihood mm -hmm. currently we have three fads and we're looking forward to see if we can get at least 10 before the end of this year so we can have as many fads as possible to assist our fishers Very good. Very good. just a week uh, and a half ago we were able to open a new fisheries facility in Savans Bay. And the opening of it was not just opening it, opening it and giving it to a, a private person, but we gave it to the fishers. So we have an MOU with the fishers because I want the fishers to be more involved That's right. in managing what belongs to them. Taking care of their own. Yes, you know? yes. We have um, the LBO mm -hmm. that is closed now since last year, December. That's Blue Ocean. The Blue Ocean. Mm -hmm. And it is really impacting the fishers. But I really want to see that this step that we took last week in Savans Bay will be replicated in Sufre, mm -hmm. in Grosili, in Denry, in Miku. Mm -hmm. so at the end of the day, the fishers will be involved in managing what is theirs. Mm -hmm. You know, this is the direction, this is my vision for the fishery sector. We are putting together the um, vessel monitoring device. We are hoping that our fishers will take advantage of it. So when they, have any, they experience any problems at sea, we will be yeah, able because, to call and we will be able yes, to look at Because as you, mentioned that, as you mentioren that there, there's a, a, gent a gentleman in some yeah. few photos yes. who's out at sea. And you know, if he had sailing that, out there. He may be out there, but he, he cannot be found. Exactly. If there was a, that, device that device installed, there's a strong possibility he yes. might be located. Eh? Very true. Yes, we yeah. saw the, the closure of the, the end of the project life of the BPIP. Yes. And we have replaced BPIP with what we call a Black Sikatuka unit. Right. Because we understand the importance of men taking control of the Black Sikatuka problem mm -hmm. in our banana fields. Mm -hmm. And if we have to maintain the quality, we have to ensure that we continue to control and take action to deal with the disease. Mm -hmm. So we have that unit in place and we are still helping that. And by the way, before I forget, I want to mention that all farmers who have quality fields will be getting a free cycle of oil from the BPIP. Mm -hmm. So I would like them to take advantage of that as mm -hmm. a start in the right direction, mm -hmm. you know, as a means of reducing on the, on the cost of production. Mm -hmm. So this is, th these are a few of the things. You have the seven crops program that was launched, the second phase. Mm -hmm. It's a five-year program commencing this year until 2026 in the, to the tune of almost $10 million, thanks to the Taiwanese government for making available those resources for us. <coughs> and the whole aim of the, the, the seven crops program is to reduce our food import bill. Our farmers will be getting fertilizer at a, at a subsidized price. We are training a number of young farmers under that program because I believe young farmers are important for this industry, considering what is happening in the industry now. Mm -hmm. We are giving technical support to our farmers. We are having a number of um, farmers markets going around, um, happening in Denry and all over the island. This direction, I'm hoping that our farmers can benefit and take advantage of this. Mm -hmm. I was happy we were able to launch and host a banana festival. Yes. You know, our <laughs> bananas, so many value-added products that can be made from bananas. Mm -hmm. I mean, this was followed by a mango festival. Mm -hmm. You know, and on World, um, World Food Day in October, mm -hmm. we are going to put together in Denry, at Fondo Park to be exact, a CMOS festival. Mm -hmm. So we are really bringing together all those persons who are involved in, you know, those areas to really showcase, you know, the, the, the products that, you know, they are, they are making mm -hmm. and to en encourage our people, our locals to be able to buy 
and consume those products. It's fresh St. Lucia's it's fresh best. St. Lucia's <laughs> best. We are progressing very well in terms of the, um, the volet livestock station. Mm -hmm. And we are hoping that before the end of the financial year, we can move the animals to volet and we can start a program where we can, um, you know, improve the livestock sector so we can get our livestock, livestock farmers, you know, um, a lot more involved in the livestock sector and we can mm -hmm. produce a lot of the meats that we consume. Mm -hmm. I understand the challenges in the poultry sector. I know the high cost of feed for the poultry and I know the 28%. The there are issues that we need to deal with, but I understand what it is because I know the poultry sector, like the livestock sector, they're having issues with the feed. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping that, you know, some sort of assistance can come their way and we can make farmers a lot more, you know, comfortable that they can get the help from the government, they can get the support from the ministry, and to be able to ensure that they can remain and be a lot more sustainable in the sector. Mm -hmm. In fact, you know, Minister, all that you have said there leads to one thing, you know, food, food and security. Security. nutrition security. That's where, that's where we are. And, and, and you mentioned earlier on, you know, um, about the war in Ukraine, and the food security is more apparent now because yeah. our f food prices in the supermarkets are soaring, right? Now, if, God forbid, something happened and the boots cannot come in to bring in, you know, the, 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 those products that we need to consume, what are we going to we do? Going to we need to produce crisis. ours as much as possible. possible to consume it. And that is why the agro-processing is crucial. And you mentioned the banana festival and the mango festival. These are things that we need to do to encourage people to do what we need to do Ooh. and to eat what we grow. Cool. I, moving forward, I heard um, you mentioned about the lockers at Savans Bay. Mm. But I was so pleased to hear the Prime Minister mention about the new jetty for Miku. Miku. Yes. And it's not a floating, it's going to be a it's stationary one. Budget. You know, so tell us about that. And, 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 and it's a good point you're raising. Mm -hmm. Because it has, it has, I mean, it's unfair to the fishers of oh, the so To be getting it something that they had no part to play. Exactly. They never contributed to it. They yes. never wanted yes. it. Yes. But yes. it was forced upon them. And it's just after just a few weeks. Yeah. And you're talking millions of dollars. Yeah. But right now, the announcement by the Prime Minister mm -hmm. will give a lot of relief and mm -hmm. hope. The intention, was, the intention was good, you know. But I suppose the assessment of the, the, the roughness of the seas see, on the Atlantic side, people that did, did not yeah, take that into consideration. For that, for that yeah, kind yeah. Of condition. So I'm very happy, you know, that the Prime Minister said it will happen. It will happen. And mm -hmm. currently, we are in the process of, um, we are working with the Ministry of Infrastructure where they are looking, the costing, looking at the costings, doing an assessment of the area and to be able to come up with a, 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 a very good structure that would be sustainable and it would be cost effective. Yes. And I am very happy for this good, good news that, um, you know, coming um, from the Prime mm -hmm. Minister and, you know, how that can impact the people of um, the fishes of Miku. Mm -hmm. And, you know, as we speak, they have another major problem affecting them. It's a gas. Oh, it's a gas. Oh, my bee. God. Yes. And well. it's making it life very, very yes, difficult, difficult for them, man. So yeah. I, I just want to say to them that, you know, it is, you know, a concern that, you know, the entire government, the cabinet has been discussing. Mm -hmm. And we are hoping that, you know, soon from now we can, you know, be able to do something yeah. to give some relief to our officials in Miku. Okay. And we, those along the eastern. Beautiful. Well. We are due for a break. You're watching Agriculture on the Move. Stay tuned. We'll be back very soon. The Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development is placing heavy emphasis on the concept of food security. It's our prosperity, our future. The enhancement of the efficiency of production distribution supply chain in the fruit and vegetable sector project, more commonly known as the Seven Crops Project, is intended to increase local production of all selected crops and decrease our food import bill through the diversification of the agricultural sector and increased production of the targeted crops. Among the provisions are subsidized input sales, seedling distribution, introduction of new varieties, introduction to new technology, erection of weather stations, and capacity building. For more on the Seven Crops Project, contact the project coordinator at 468-8122.
Welcome back to the program, Agriculture on the Move. And it's on the move, people. <laughs> the lots has happened and a lot is going to happen moving forward uh, under the leadership of Honorable Alfred Prosper, who is here, our Minister for Agriculture. Minister, we spoke a lot about your achievements and now we let's look at you know what is to come. Um, I know there's a cocoa project, mm -hmm. okay? And there have been so many cocoa you know, in the past, in the past and uh, um, they just die a natural death. I had Mr. Eloy Alexis here with me a few weeks ago, and um, he mentioned about that new project. He's the coordinator, and then he gave some good re reviews about mm -hmm. that, that project, mm -hmm. and I'm hoping it's going to be sustained. sustained. Tell us about that project. Well, this project is a, a project that was um, approved by um, during this um, for 2022-2023 mm -hmm. to the tune of almost I think it's 1.6 million dollars right. and the aim is to propagate approximately 1 million cocoa plants to distribute throughout St. Lucia. Mm -hmm. Now currently we have lots, uh, large areas of cocoa but a lot of those cocoa plantations or those areas we have cocoa planted these are not being maintained so we have to focus on rehabilitation of almost 200 acres hectares to assist the farmers with you know inputs to be able to ensure that they get we, we get those um, plantations back into production mm -hmm. now i know we have the cocoa pod disease that is a major black pod, yeah. sorry the black pods mm -hmm, thank mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. that is a major problem in cocoa and it seemed to be discouraging a number of farmers from wanting to maintain it mm -hmm. but the thing about cocoa is that we have a big market in the uk for cocoa we cannot meet the demand of the market now, given what is happening in the banana industry, given what is happening in the whole sector in terms of food security, I think that's a very good direction that our ministry is taking mm -hmm. in terms of helping diversify yes. you know, the sector. Because yes, yes. I believe that, you know, whilst, yes, we have been dependent on bananas, but within a few months, a few weeks from now, as we are in the rainy um, hurricane season, mm -hmm. the b entire plantations of bananas can be wiped off. Mm -hmm. So our farmers must be able to diversify so they can, they can depend on other crops mm -hmm. grown on the same piece mm -hmm. of land. Mm -hmm. And just imagine have a good, having a good mix plantation with bananas and cocoa. Mm -hmm. The bananas as you fertilize the trees, mm -hmm. the right. cocoa benefits from it. That's so right. I really want us to do it differently this time because I remember in the past 10 or more years, we were giving free plants to farmers. But you see there's one thing to do that, but there must be Maintenance and sustainability, continuity, and sustainability. Continuity. Yes. You don't just yes, give yes, it to the yes, farmers yes, yes. and turn your back. Yes, right. So we have to be able to ensure mm -hmm. that we take this project very seriously because I know it can impact the livelihoods mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. hundreds and hundreds of mm -hmm. farmers, especially those farmers who are on their way out. Right. You know, they, they, they may be moving out of bananas, but they still have some interest in, you know, going to the farm mm -hmm. maybe once or twice a week. Cocoa would be an ideal for them because they can go in there, they can do their trimming, but they can also do their harvesting. Right. Because the market is available. Yeah. And what I like, like about it too uh, is that Eloy mentioned the shade trees. Yes. You can use economic crops, crops. tree crops. Yes. That you can gain from it also. Exactly. So avocado pears, citrus, citrus and stuff citrus like that. And so on. As opposed to using only immortel. Yes. So you, you have know? a mixed yeah. cropping yes. Yes. You know, yes. system yes. that, you yes. know, you know yes. that would really benefit and even farmers. short term crops you know while you're yes. planting there you're going to plant your short term vegetables in between yes. and while the canopy cover at least you're getting some money exactly you know, yeah so and, and and that brings me to the whole value added yes we have a cocoa fermentary in he's sitting at, at Angers there Angers. that need to be commissioned and i'm happy that you know i can mention now we have i'm um, taking a decision to grant it to uh, an, a group mm -hmm. and um, soon from now the group will be taking this facility on and, and you know getting it operational very good we i just visited the the barbono the four agro, 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 agro processing, processing plant plant with um you know parliamentary rep virginia but yesterday and we had a good discussion as to you know how we can get move it forward in, in, in operation because mm -hmm. there are lots that can be done there are so many you know high-tech machines that i saw there mm -hmm. you know and, mm -hmm. and we, we have to make use of it mm -hmm. but the good thing is that there are persons who are knocking the doors of the ministry indicating interest All right you know in wanting to take on the facility mm -hmm. and we cannot have such an important facility sitting there yeah. closed exactly. so we are looking at the okay. possibility of doing that and ensuring that we can get into the whole value added the mm -hmm. agro processing you know because every time i participated in this festival in those festivals i see the value you know the kind of products that are 
that we are, you know, fascinated um, by that, and, you know. And, you know, I believe these people deserve uh, mm -hmm. a, a place in society where they can display their product, those mm -hmm. products. And also think of exporting. Exporting, yes, yes, know? yes. yes. You know, I mean, what's, what, what's, the, what's the amount of money from the CMOS industry? Yes. Six million dollars with the help of, of, of export, export St. Lucia, you know? And I, when I look at the value earlier, I had a guy here with me, you know, um, on Wednesday, and I saw, they might have 20 products right here. Right there. You know, so and I mean, it's amazing what you can do. Yes, so we have to know? take those, um, um, we have to move in the, in the, in the next, in, in the, in, we have to move to the next steps. Yes. Of taking all those products and exporting. Yes, we so need to export. To, to those yeah. various countries, you can yeah, see. Yeah, yeah. Lucia products. Definitely. The and the good thing about it, look, look like the cocoa. We, we have chocolate is being in San Lucia, yes. you know. I mean, the, 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 the yes. rural women in, 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 in Miku, there's a Miku chocolate. Miku chocolate. We have, we have, can, we have canaries. Well. We, have, well. we have also have Sofre. Sofre. You know, Jade Mountain. Jade you Mountain. know, and, and the other, other, other little, you know, cottage industries that so they're doing it really so we can do it give. and then of course don't forget the cocoa stick yes the cocoa and stick that's and another big market in, 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 in and also in martinique and, and martinique I heard. you know so we the market is available it is there we need to take it and one of those challenges we have with um you know the export market is you know transportation yes you know we, we need to really you know revamp and you know improve the transportation yes, you know yes, yes. between countries so yes. we can move our move products things, a lot, yeah. you know easier yeah, agro-processing is key in fact that's why after this this um festival coming up on the 16th of october which is world food day which is the cmos um, 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 fiesta mm -hmm. we are looking at the cocoa right back to back and we're mm -hmm. also looking at coconuts coconuts yes right so we, we need to show saint lucia what we can we do can and do. the rest of the world and what is amazing about our cmos we produce the probably the best, the best. in the yes, world. Yes, yes, You know, and this is impacting the rural people so mm, well mm, that mm, you know we must ensure that we you know we regulate it in a yeah. manner that there was a gold rush, you know. You realize that during COVID, I mean, yes. I had a lady here with me from 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 Moshi, and she said nothing to do, nowhere to go. They would start walking the beach, and they said, "Let's do some seamoss." And that is how. And this lady is involved in the, in the product there, gummy gummy bears. Gummy bears for the kids and to see us and yeah, so sh and she will be at our thing too. So there is a lot and I and I just want to, you know, say that I I I am really looking for the resources that, you know, and you know, that are that is needed to really assist mm -hmm. those persons in this because they need the support for them to be sustainable. Transportation um, you mentioned about uh, which is market. The market. Now we, we 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 know that uh, you, had, you had a trip to to london not too long ago mm -hmm. and you were told that there's so many other commodities that we can yes. export so tell us about that yes there there is um there there, there is a, uh, a guy i met and he's in, he's looking for mangoes avocados green and 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 and, and yellow coconuts, jelly coconuts jelly coconuts plantain yeah, and the yams and the dashes, and I'm hot sure. peppers. Yes, yes, and, yes. And he's he's going to be here sometime next month to go around to see how we can engage a, lo a number of the farmers to be able to, you know, generate some interest in being able to get those commodities, you know, exported. But what I'm 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 thinking based on my discussion with him, mm -hmm. that would be an excellent opportunity for the marketing board. Yes. To embrace yes. this yes. and begin yes. the export of those commodities to the region mm -hmm. as well as the UK. Mm -hmm. Because the demand is there for a lot of the, 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 the things we produce here. And you know, as you mentioned marketing board, we have, you know, you've been having those farmers meetings, eh? We had one, the other one night before. Yes, night before. And limited hours, I mean, and the, I mean, the feedback was really, really, really productive. And a lot of it came to marketing of the crops. The and they have no, well, the, 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 that trust in marketing but is still shaky. Yes. So again, I'm happy that you have a new, a new manager a and manager, hoping that things might change because we need, all what they need is to the assurance when they sell, the following mm -hmm. we can get the money, you know. Yeah, and, and that is a very good point you raise in there. As I always say, the marketing board belongs to the farmers and the farmers will be more 
comfortable selling to what belongs to them. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, the farmers also have to think of their livelihoods. They have to invest some of those funds from the sale of the produce yeah. back in, in, into into Yes, into pay the farm, labor and all kind of things like this and inputs and, and stuff. And when you have a situation when, when the marketing board is unable to pay on time or unable to buy as many, as much as possible, mm -hmm. it's going to be frustrating and demotivating. Right. And the farmers in this case will have no choice but to go to Marcy and to other areas. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I, I, marketing board is in a financial crisis now and it is a, a, a discussion that we have in the cabinet level. And I'm hoping that soon from now we will be able to, you know, relieve the marketing board in terms of giving them some financial support. Mm -hmm. So whether it's a loan, I think more likely it, it, it will be a loan right. to really get it back on its feet because the marketing board had quite a bit of money a few years back. Of course, this like, export. Yes, but um, you I know. was told it was mismanaged or it was... Yeah, it, it was already. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. those challenges are what, you know, the marketing board is faced with mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm working hard to see how quickly we can get them to have the financial resources to be able to buy as much as possible from the farmers. Great. The farmers should not be asked to produce, but yet when they are ready for harvest, they have to wonder, Where? what am I going to sell? Yes, How much yes, am I, am yes, I going to make? Yes, you know? yes. Who's going to pay me on exactly, time? Exactly. It is really, and I mean, I, I, I'm, 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 I understand what the farmers go through. Mm -hmm. It's not a nice thing for them. Mm -hmm. but. You know, those challenges have been there. They're the real. To, they're know, real. Really find yeah. ways. Very to critical. Really good. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Your constituency, I know you have your fishers, you have farmers. Um, I know you have told them what you'll be doing yes. as, far, as far as agriculture and fishing yes. is concerned. Concern. Tell us what's going on. Yeah, happening. well, my constituency, I must say, I am very thankful for you know, some of the things that we have done. I've been able to you know, bring this, the people in the constituency together and really make them understand this thing this thing is not about me mm -hmm. on my own it's about everybody coming together and everybody coming to work towards the improvement of the community mm -hmm. we had this cleanup where most persons came and you know did this major cleanup on the beachfront mm -hmm. we are now having activities trying to have activities every month to really revive and to get revamp the whole saturday fish fiesta right. there are two major events there we are hoping to have one at the end of every month until i can get the saturday fish activity back to where it was. Very good, very I good. do not want to um, commence this activity, this Saturday fish thing, with the same, you know, tents and so on. Mm -hmm. and, and, and the, 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 I would like to see the ambience, everything, um, ambience, change. everything change drastically. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we are working towards that. I have the council, I must say thanks to them for the support. But we are seeing the people beginning to embrace it. They are happy with the activities we are having. And what we are doing is, using a lot of our local talent right. and then we segment and some yes. of the local people yes. to yes. showcase their skills and really give back some of what you know they have mm -hmm. i must say i've done quite a bit in terms of the whole social aspect the housing mm -hmm. you know between august and now i built almost 20 houses and wow. i've repaired quite a bit in terms of you know helping with you know windows doors you know assistance with people building their roofs etc i want to continue that and I want to, you know, urge the people of Denry to really let them work together. I am looking forward to improving just um, the fisheries facility, the, the, the Daito, because the conditions there in terms of the drainage, mm -hmm. in terms of the, the, the area where we, the fish cleaning has been done, this place is in a very, very bad state. And I'm hoping that from funds that, we, that was approved for this financial year, I can, you know, make some improvements there and other fishing facilities in St. Lucia. I'm also working towards the whole land rationalization. Mm -hmm. I'm in discussion with um, the people in the ministry to see how they can begin, you know, assisting the people in the, of Denry who have been occupying lands for more than 40 Eons. years. They have <laughs> huge buildings, wall yes. concrete buildings, yeah. and they don't own the land. It's making it difficult for them to get a loan, etc. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping that we can begin that process too, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that plus, you know, the young people mm -hmm. building the capacity, etc. We're looking towards that. Mr. Minister, boy, there's so much you can talk yes, about. Yes, eh? a lot, a lot. Yeah, a lot, but lot. The, our time has thank come. Thank you very much. Yes, thank so you I want to much. thank you for being here. And I wish you success. And I know in the, 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 new, the new year coming in, the, a lot will be lot said. And looking forward and to we're looking forward to get more projects. Yes. Thank you again. Thank you very much. And I wish you success Most and God, Godspeed. Yes. You've been watching Agriculture on the Move with me, of course, on the Blair Fred Prosper, Minister for Agriculture, Fisheries, uh, Food Security, and Rural Development, telling us all his achievements and proposed projects to come. Thank you again. Remember, agriculture is our business. Eat fresh.
St. Lucia's best. I'm Philip Sidney. Goodbye. Agriculture on the move. 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 Agriculture on the move.